A coastal flood advisory has just expired for parts of Queens. Waters are expected to rise again, though, tonight. CBS 2's Elise Finch is live in Rockaway Beach, where there was some flooding this morning. Elise. Yeah, we're here on Beach 84th Street and Rockaway Freeway. Take a look down this block. What you're seeing is some residual water. It may look pretty dry at the moment, but coastal flooding was an issue here just a few hours ago. Take a look at this video that we shot uh, about 90 minutes ago, and it shows the effect of some of that coastal flooding. The problem that we're having today is that the tidal departures this morning were about a foot above uh, normal astronomical tides. So uh, that was about 9 o'clock here in the Rockaways is when we had high tides. So that coastal flood advisory was in effect, and as you mentioned, it was allowed to expire at noon. The problem is that a coastal flood advisory will go back into effect at 8 o'clock tonight for this evening's high tide. The tidal departures this evening expected to be 1 to 2 feet above astronomical tides. That high tide uh, this evening on the Rockaway is roughly about 9.15. So in addition to the, to the coastal flooding that we are expected, we're also going to be dealing with some rain. We're expecting anywhere from half an inch to two inches of rain. So already this morning, Morning. We've had some, some flooding. Take a look. We have some pictures where some cars were certainly getting inundated with uh, parked cars, I might, I might add. So people may or may not have issues with their cars when they return and take a look at them. And so out here this morning, you may need the rain gear. The only problem with that rain gear is that because it's windy, it's blowing around. So sometimes your umbrella is completely useless in this weather. So we're just starting out. It's chilly. It's rainy. It's windy. We've already had issues with coastal flooding here, and we will have them again this evening for this evening's high tide. We are live in Rockaway Beach. Elise Finch, CBS 2 News.